everyone, my name is Marcus and you're watching the Reef Nerd YouTube channel. I've got a new review for you today, the Kessel Wi-Fi dongle. So I've been running my two Kessel A360Xs for almost a year now, and I will definitely be putting up a one year review on those soon when I get to that milestone. So hit the subscribe button down below if you want to make sure you don't miss out on that video when it comes out. Kessel has been promising the Wi-Fi dongle since the release of the A360X lights, and it's now finally available. One of the criticisms of the A360X has always been with the lack of Wi-Fi or Bluetooth to be able to control them with a smartphone app. Instead requiring that users buy the Spectral Controller X, a hardwired controller, in order to get complete control over the lights. However, that changes now, as with a single Wi-Fi dongle, you can control all your Kessel lights. There are some pros and cons to this dongle approach to a Wi-Fi solution. The biggest pro is that whether you have a single light or 32 lights, you only need one dongle. With other lights on the market that have built-in Wi-Fi, there can be significant interference and crowding on your Wi-Fi network, especially for users with multiple lights in close proximity. Kessel's approach removes that issue entirely. Let's face it, with the amount of devices in our homes all clamouring for Wi-Fi, any effort to reduce the noise will be beneficial, doubly so for people that live in high density areas or apartment buildings like mine. The con to the approach is that you still need all the lights to be controlled by one Wi-Fi dongle to be interconnected with K-Link cables. This is no different to how you would configure Kessel lights under the Spectral Controller X setup, save for the final wired connection to the controller. If you're looking to set up or buy a Kessel-based lighting solution and want to use the Wi-Fi dongle to control them, you'll need to buy one less K-Link cable than your total number of lights. So if you have three lights, you need two K-Link cables and a dongle. If you have five lights, you'll need four K-Link cables and a dongle. The Kessel experience setting up the Wi-Fi dongle is, as usual, pretty slick. You simply plug the Wi-Fi dongle into any spare USB-C style K-Link cable on one of your lights. Wait about 20 seconds for the light to change colour from purple to orange. Download the Kessel Wi-Fi app in the App Store or the Google Play Store. Open the app and scan the QR code found in the box your Wi-Fi dongle came in. And from there, you can tell the dongle to connect to your Wi-Fi network and configure your lights and schedules. Giving you a tour of the app, you can see here the dashboard view with the default groups. You can create your own groups, of course, but I think most users will simply use these defaults. As I have two tuna blue lights, we can see them automatically populated in the default TB group. Tapping on a light will cause it to flash. Great for identifying which light is which. Tapping on mode is where the bulk of the configuration happens. You can see the chart at the top, which shows a visual representation of your program. Tapping the edit icon lets you customize the program. Scrolling across shows you all of the time slots with their settings. Tap on a slot to edit it. You can change the time at the top and edit the color and intensity below that. Note there is the slider as well as plus and minus buttons, which is awesome because it lets you get exactly where you want it. Some of these interfaces I've used from other lights can be really annoying where the slider isn't quite accurate enough and you're trying to dial it to a specific number. Scrolling down, you get the same options for each of the extra channels, violet, red and green, as well as the option to save colour profiles. One more thing to note on this screen is the ability to turn on effects for the time slots. These are things like storm, cloud, aurora and rainbow settings. You can set a duration and frequency that they occur within that time slot. Kessel gives you eight slots and defaults to gradually ramping between them rather than sudden shifts. The last slot will always be the time that they turn off. Or should you choose to use it, the lunar mode becomes active. To configure lunar mode, go back to the mode screen and tap on the lunar cycle area. You can set the current lunar phase with a moonrise, high moon and moon set setting. You can set or reset the moon phase which will progress over a 30 day cycle. You can switch between a blue or a red moon. I've been running the blue moon on my Kessels for the last year, but I am strongly thinking about switching to the red moon just for, to change it up and to see 
how the tank reacts. And finally, you can configure a static moon cycle if you wish. There's also an acclimation mode, which is super easy to use as well. It's a copy of your main program, but with an intensity limiter, which gradually ramps up over the period of days that you set. It's made really clear on the graph at the top of the screen how it works, and you simply set the period you want acclimation to last and the starting intensity percentage relative to your main program. Finally, the settings page in the app contains the ability to log out of your account, back up and restore your settings to the cloud, enable a demo mode, reset the app, and access the user manual should you need it. So comparing the Wi-Fi dongle to the Spectral Controller X, the Wi-Fi dongle is a largely superior experience. The interface on the smartphone app is greatly improved, the setup and grouping of the lights is easy, and importantly, the granular control of color, intensity, and special modes like Lunar and Acclimation is really simple. The only thing you're really losing by choosing the Wi-Fi module over the Spectral Controller X is the 0 to 10 volt output port, which is used for older Kessel light models. So given the controller and the Wi-Fi dongle are the same price, I would choose the Wi-Fi dongle unless you have a specific need for the 0 to 10 volt control. Just a side note, you can't use the Wi-Fi dongle and the Spectral Controller X simultaneously. Pick one or the other. You may have seen Kessel recently announced the AP9X, essentially the upgrade for the older AP700 model. It appears as though the AP9X will have Wi-Fi functionality built in, so the dongle won't be required for that light. However, given they will use the same Kessel Wi-Fi app, if you're planning to run both A360Xs and an AP9X in your setup or across multiple tanks, then the Wi-Fi dongle for your A360Xs is a no-brainer. Well, that's all for today. I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to subscribe. My name is Marcus, and you've been watching the ReefNerd YouTube channel. Bye for now.